Roughneck Nikki, what a name for a roughneck though. You don't sound all that tough to me. This ought to be a relatively quick gym though. It's a poison type gym. We don't Reno. I don't think my hundred people can one shot that. We gonna find that. I just don't think it can. Coughing, I might just be able to do that. Cause Coughing is more of a physically defensive Pokemon compared to a specially defensive Pokemon. So Fire Blast should definitely just do the one shot on that thing. I think. Let's try it out. Yeah, alright, because that has a really high base power, so that was enough of the trick. Perfect. Hmm. Tempting to like make me want to give this guy like a freaking bracelet or some sort of power item of that sort. I'm also tempted to try using Cerberus, but uh, let's give you like a power bonus. Oh, so you have to complete the other ones. Pretty much this just allows me to get some more um, EVs for my attack power and help me increase that power strength, you know, get that maximum power, literally. So we gotta put Dark Type up in here, that's all good. That's the difference when you use the Bracer, more slow AF. Wow, so that's your plan, you're just gonna lower my accuracy until I can't hit you at all. Lovely. But sadly, I guess it doesn't work. Oh, aftermath, okay then. Cerberus can deal with Buddy, to be honest. I think I could have used Beedrill, but you need the experience more. Just to get level 20 and level up to, you know, evolve, so. Roll us up, evolve faster. Playing this on shift battle style makes it a little bit easier. Because you, you get switch initiated pretty much every single turn. <laughs> um, you know, you know, hmm, let me just keep you in. You can't really unco me, so. I wonder how much Fire Blast does to you out of curiosity. I wonder if you're just gonna like bring you down to red or if you're actually gonna one shot. No, nope, one shot. Perfect. So now we have a Hound Doom. We're right in time for battle, everyone. And we have some special attacks. Nice. Oh, so I guess you can't evolve in here, or am I just tripping? Okay, um. Tempted to like give you like power, like everyone power items. Alright, let's go. I love this music. Okay, so Tremors, we don't really have to worry about. Toxic spikes will be a little bit annoying. Of course, when you use poison gas and mints, I mean it hits, and probably, yeah, yeah, like that. Yep, it always hits whenever the enemy uses it, but when you use it, it never hits. That's how Pokemon is though, like only the enemies will land those low accuracy attacks. But the player doesn't get the, the privilege of that. 
Technically, I could have just used freaking Stone Edge on you too. So aren't you Bug Poison? Incoming Steamroller. Who wants to deal with you? You can't deal with you. So it's either Cerberus or Polarite. Cerberus would be nice. Because you also outspeed it, so... You could probably just get the old coal with the flamethrower, to be honest. It's a bug type move, so it's neutral on me. Ooh. Do I really want to risk the fire blast? I could try out flamethrower and see if it's enough to take it out, but I'm not 100% sure if it is. I mean, I'm plus special attack nature, but let's, let's see if I can do it with just the flamethrower, because I mean, I'm plus special attack, so that might be enough, yeah. I just because like the same level, I know that was her prize Pokemon that like normally they they buff their stats up a little bit. So you got no special attacks. Hmm. Never mind, that was Nyx who leveled up, so that's all good. You don't want any special attack, I guess. Okay then. We'll just bring in the Magnemite here. Ouch. Choice wasn't necessarily the best, so it seems. Can you one shot me with anything? I wonder. Oh, you're a nasty planner. Nice. Magnemite was able to one-shot the Crow Gunk with Thunder. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I gave it Thunder. It's like the things that Thunderbolt won't deal with, Thunder will deal with. <laughs> Literally. Literally, that's the reason why I use Thunder and Thunderbolt. Not only that, but I also have a Swift Swim Ludicolo on my team, so it's it synergizes really well with the team synergy, you know. Because like Swift Swim in the Rain Dance will boost my speed and also gives my Thunder 100% accuracy and Hurricane will also get 100% accuracy. So yeah, I already have Venom Shock. It's all good. Alrighty, and then a shock is on alright move, but you have to set up Toxic Spice before it actually becomes like viable. Hey you, I felt you were something special during your battle with Roxy. Please call me to Pokestar Studios. And this guy just walks out of here like he's all that. You're gonna Poke? Oh, yeah. Word, okay. I'm not gonna bother read what you have to say, excited to beat you. You're irrelevant. Well, okay, so that was that match pretty much. Who's gonna face me when I leave outside? Is it my rival or is it someone calling me in the X Trans or Something's gonna happen. Whenever you do something significant, something's gonna happen. Oh wow, nothing freaking happened. In utter shock right now. Nani. You know. Yes, please, restore my pokies. So we went ahead and we got our second gym badge, which is awesome. Team is looking pretty decent too. Like competitively, um, you're gonna stay. You can stay. Technically, all you guys here can stay, including the Magnemite. Technically, the Beedrill is like, the only thing which is iffy. And like, I don't even know. Like, I might just keep it around because it's a really damn good nature. You know, like it's just really frail in the physical defense department, but it has its chances. You know, once it sets up a Swords Dance, this thing will really, really pull its weight. Like with the typing, the typing is really important here. It's just the typing, and then the U-turn for utility. So I mean, if I just give you a life orb. You might be able to do some serious damage. Who knows? Like bring a B drill for end game. You never know, right? Like I see a B drill doing some serious damage against a Latios as long as I land the first hit. You know, like it's, it, it is how it is. So I want to try and like get your speed up all the way. Um. Technically, that should mean I should give you a freaking power anklet. Alright, everyone else is looking good. I think you already have the damn brace. So everyone's looking good. Alright then, so yeah, everyone's looking freaking Gucci. Like, all you gotta do now is work on getting to the next part in the game. Um, so I need to get you to level 30 and then level 30 within ch um, Charge Stone Cave so that I can evolve you into Magna, Magneton and Magna Zone. So you're, you're a little bit ahead of your time right now, I can show it to you. 
you're pretty much done. You just gotta be leveled up in EV. You just need to be leveled up in EV. Same with you. You just need to be evolved. So, if anything, you're my current project now. And I'll just leave you as is. Do I wanna do that? Nah, it makes no sense. She makes no sense. Like, I might as well get the EVs on something else. So, like, we can get. It. Yeah, EVs on you would be helpful, but EVs on you would be even more helpful. Yeah, cause like, yeah, you, you need some help there. And also, you're kind of slow, aren't you? Kind of slow, kind of slow. You got the special attack up. Okay, so I'll, I'll let you get some special attack EVs for a little bit, and then we'll make you move to speed EVs. If anything, I should probably get you on speed now, damn it. And then we'll just, like, help you get stronger later on. Alright, so you're looking good. We can go ahead and save the game and continue. I went ahead and I, and I um, hacked in the items, so it just makes this a little bit better. Because I wasn't trying to wait until we got the battle company access to get access to EV train items. And, like, having EV train items doesn't actually change the game. Like, if anything, it gives you a hindrance for performance later on, which I'm gonna need that performance later on. So, it's just, it's just like one of those things. Okay. Yeah, you better have been talking about me, I'm a freaking prodigy. Okay, then. Hmm. Okay. So we gotta do this whole freaking tour now. Really now. Really then, what the hell's going on? What? I haven't played Pokemon Black 2, so... Yeah. Oh, I see. Place of never-ending smells, everyone's ideal place to play. However, it's dark, it's just before the dawn, a hero has appeared on the scene. And that hero's name is Ryolu Man. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh no. That Ponyard is instantly that doesn't manage. But like, we'll see. Cause like, Iron Head normally does some good damage and Swords Dance is also an option. Ouch, that's a one shot bro. That is a one shot, like. Oh, follow me, okay. I'm about to say, like, like that was a horrible matchup for that freaking Ponyard, poor thing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I've only be out of view this shit. Word. Oh no. <laughs> Dead. I see. So these guys wanted to add in that whole thing, okay. And then those question marks in the audience, low.
don't kill me. This guy's like, yeah, that movie was garbage. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. So now we get to go back to the ship and meet up with this guy. Boy, if you don't let me go. Oh man. These MFs, bro, are really like roping me around this whole damn place. Okay. These guys, man, these guys. Yeah, and that curl gunk, that frickin' thunder blasted his ass out of the sky. Can I battle someone? God damn. Okay, bye. What the fuck? So that's EV train here. What the hell? See how they the green screen there, yeah. The fuck? What? Okay then. So let me pretty much gotta like do a random battle. Okay. Don't kill me. Oh, I see. So it's my Pioneer versus, uh, well, my Ryoli versus him. Scenario. Oh wow, I have Ice Punch for the Vullaby? Okay then. But like, he has Air Slash, and it's like, Air Slash one-shots me, and we've already seen that, so... That's that. I don't see how this can one-shot a freaking Vullaby. Like, there's no way, it's not even stab-boosted. Hmm... I'll do I'm scared. Cause like, I already know what's gonna happen. Yep. That was perfect. I don't know, in the theater, I just don't wanna watch the freaking thing. I just fucking did it, you know, it's like, I don't want to have to watch what I just played, because, I mean, I do that for kind of a secondary living, already. <laughs> relax, relax, can I fucking leave? Thank you, let me dip, bro. God damn, man. Like, man's right here trying to become a Pokemon master, man, I'm not trying to be a freaking film star. Why, well, just cause I'm like some cute chick, y'all are trying to like, rope me into the industry, goddamn. Literally. Literally, you just gotta like freaking take me and like walk me all over the place and like get me to for freaking taking pictures and shit. Like, it, it's not, does that not happen in real life? Like, does that not happen in real life? Don't, don't bullshit me. Wait, but hold on, though. Hold up, though. Hold up, though, guys. Like. What do we- oh, okay, so we need to like, we need to surf somewhere, and I don't have surf, so the only other option is that ship. I'm like, where's our next option? Yeah, the next option is only this ship. Yes, Team Plasma, we finally get to like, face some bad guys and get some damn, um, EVs off of some gold bats and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean?
I know I can beat you. Stop this. Is this a double battle though? And I think it is a double battle. Nope, single. Rip. Well, I guess not rip because, like, you know, I don't have to worry about team synergy in a sense. Hmm, that Chabash might be a little bit of a nuisance. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the switch out from now. Just like minimize the damage that you take, just works better in the long run. Yeah, like you totally check rubbish. Or rubbish, I should say, so. Yeah. Sand dial. Now you can get some EVs in here, and Swift Swim will help you out too. Swift Swim and Rain Dish are both good abilities for you, so it's like pretty interesting. But I think Swift Swim is a little bit better. Ouch, that sand attack might be a little bit annoying. I shouldn't be able to outspeed him now. Perfect. Ponyard comes on in. We're we are in my territory right now in the in the rain, so my butter attacks all get a 1.5x multiplier. It's my territory, buddy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Back up, bruh. GTFO. Bye-bye, you freaking weak-ass scrubs. Back to Route 20. Back to Route 20. Yeah, cut. Okay. Just putting up and searching Route 20. So then, like, let's just go ahead and battle this guy real quick. Like, you already know how that goes. This motherfucker gets dynamic punch. Buddy Epperoni. Oh, I'm in the rain right now. Ooh, I'm in the rain right now. Do I outspeed him? Oh, but I have a freaking power item on, so oh damn, I wanna use that thunder and the hundred percent accuracy rain boost. Oh man, that would have been delicious. But it's all good. It's all good. Empires of Confusion. Hmm. I doubt he's gonna go for Fire Punch in the frickin' rain. That makes no sense in the duo. Hmm. Now he's gonna go for the fire punch, probably. Question is how much damage does the fire punch do? Oh, he goes for a rock slide. I see. I just had to like reset that confusion, be smart. There we go. 
all about strategy, guys. Oh, good. Let's go for two back-to-back -back brick breaks then. Nah, I'll probably have to go for a switch then since he's faster than me. Totally forgot that, cause like the freaking power brace changes up everything. Um. Oh, he has sucker punch access actually, so that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. But if I switch out, then he's gonna kill me, cause like that's how the game works. Like if you switch, then they're gonna attack on the switch. If you attack, then it'd be sucker punch. Like you can't predict the game. Like the game will just do whatever is optimal. So, hmm. Interesting. Like in theory, they're gonna go for the sucker punch right now, or just any other attack to take me out another I'm faster. So uh, technically, Nyx is dead. So I'll just sacrifice you then. Yeah, there's a sucker punch. See, and if I were to switch out, then I would have used an attack and killed the switching. So it's like it doesn't even matter. Like this is one of those times. I think you have the XP share on you, so you can switch in. Get the kill over here. Flamethrower should be enough to deal with him at this point. He's not really that high on health, so... Let's let go, we'll just go ahead and let Cerberus take care of that. Meditite. Um, at this point, it doesn't even matter. Fire Blast, we'll just do the same with you. GG. Hmm, Makahita. He might have the Thick Fat ability on you. Hopefully he doesn't have any elemental punches. <laughs> Fuck, I'm dead. That's one shot. That's straight up one shot. There's no explanation. There's no... There's no ifs, that's a one shot. Hmm, okay. So let's do this a safe way. I have two options. One option is to go for Thunder, but that's stupid. I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt and just do what damage I can on him. Cause this is guaranteed. Wait, what? Oh, the freaking brace item. That brace, it slowed me down. Okay. Well then, all we have to bank on now is you. I see. I don't think you can oh call you because you have thick fat. So like, that's gonna be a nuisance. Never mind. So you are guts and not thick fat. I was worrying about thick fat. That's why I switched him out in the original. Because he has the ability thick fat, which has the damage taken from fire and ice type attacks, but he also has the ability guts. So that means that he had guts and not thick fat. Cause thick fat was a certain non one shot. It's just when you know these things then. It's good, because I would have gotten caught off guard if I never knew that. And he had, um, Thick Fat, so... Yeah. Alright, looking good. So we're gonna go on ahead and head to the next... Well, not the next, actually. We're going back, technically. We gotta go to Route 20 look for these bad guys, apparently. Alright, yeah. You're implying that I haven't battled you? The fuck? I already battled you. Like, how could I possibly get up there and not battle you before? Like, that's some bullshit. And I don't remember your Needle Ramp game. And you were not level 13. So, like, okay, so the trainers can, like, refresh their rosters and, like, okay, 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 understandable. Never mind. Okay. My team's getting their speed slower, kinda pisses off. It's better just be worth it in the end, man. Oh, this shit better be fucking worth it in the end, is all I'm saying. Cause like, I never had to deal with this before when like the, um, power items weren't on there, so, yeah.
kind of have too many Pokemon here on power items to be honest. You can stay on it. You shouldn't be on it either. Tanuki Quick Law is best for you. Quick Claw, Air Balloon, and Aka Berry are nice for you. Cerberus. I don't think I see weakness policies around here. This is the freaking ranch, bro. These MFR is up here. Nothing is back there. This is still Route 20, apparently. There we go. I know those ones, yo. I kind of hate those ones, too. When people won't let shit go, but... Bro, you're on my turf, cuz. You're on my fucking turf, man. What you expect me to let you go? Like... If I don't switch, they use the poison attack. I mean, if they, if, and if I do switch, if I do switch, then they don't use the poison attack. See? And if I don't switch, then they use the poison attack. It's so fucking stupid. But like, if I say it in it, what do I want for a poison type attack? It's so fucking. I hate it. Like I wish that they play like actual people, that you can actually like properly predict them, and they don't just like do whatever is optimal. It's like the computer knows what you're doing, and then they and they move to counter your move. And that's what I hate about it. It's like they don't just simply play like a trainer. They they analyze. Oh, you're switching. Oh, okay, I'm gonna counter your switching. Like no, like no. And like, most of the time, trainers are gonna catch them all. favor them. And then look, it's gonna go for a poison type attack, or like, something like that. Yep. Nice. It actually didn't surprise, but I think only doing that just so that they can try and prove me wrong. Oh, you're an idiot. The fact that you went for it twice. Even though you see him getting justified buffs, it's like, really? Can't believe y'all made me go all the fucking way back just to do that bullshit. I wonder if we can go back in here. God damn it. Go. Look for someone who knows a lot about ships. Well, I kind of got that spot down.
Yo, yo, yo. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a little end over here. Thanks for watching so much. I'm going to head over to Castelia City on my next video, and you guys will see my progress from there. So, I might just do a live stream on the series. That's what I was originally doing. Um, but, yeah. Peace out, YouTubers.